think lots of people clicked off that video even before it started. <laughs> normal I promise <laughs> you know, my homies basically what I'm trying to say is that I completely understand everyone's selling presets that trend is so over and I just basically never used presets until very recently because I was like manually adjusting everything and it took forever until my friends were like pushing me they were like dude your imagery is very unique the way you edit is very different to most people it's dark it's moody it's kind of vintagey hipster as hell you need to create presets and so I did I created these presets and I started testing them and I realized how much better my photos are and I was like well duh these presets work and so I've released my presets holy crap they are now out there are 17 presets it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg to get them they're really cool and I've called them drum roll please hipster AF <laughs> the reason I called them that is because I've really turned into a massive hipster lately <laughs> like I'm eating mainly organic I'm like drinking filtered water I am trying to live plastic free wearing organic clothing <laughs> like so many things 90% vegan like I'm, I'm real hipster I'm like proper hipster now <laughs> and I don't think I ever expected myself to go this way, but anyway. And so I've released my presets in celebration of this very significant moment in my life. <laughs> the presets are pretty funny. They are cold. <laughs> 35 milliliter, beard oil, cold brew, craft beer, fair trade coffee, fixie, <laughs> hipster AF, I shoot film, kale, kombucha, microgreens, organic, thrift shop, typewriter, vinyl, Wes Anderson, and yoga. <laughs> And now for those that want to know how they operate on my photos, let's get behind a computer and I'll show you exactly what they look like. I'm for reals vibing on this carpet, so today the editing session will be down here. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you guys, this is so fun. Okay, so so when you guys get your pack, you just double click on the folder, the zipped folder, and it opens up Hipster AF. Double click on it and collect all your presets, amazing presets, and just drag them onto your Lightroom. Where are you? Then it's gonna prompt you to install all your templates. You just click yes, 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 17 times. Let's start off with this baby. This is the before and this is the after. For this photograph, I used the beard oil. <laughs> I just click on that one click that's not the right one <laughs> so it's kombucha <laughs> and then you just go into your white balance and you click on auto so it designates exactly how it should be shot and then in this instance you just keep tweaking a little bit I crop it to be Instagram size et voila and then I want it to be a little bit more orange in my skin skin tone so I can just increase the orangeness in my skin a little bit um, and maybe pump up the greens a little bit more and change the hue of them just a little bit more. And then it's basically, this is the before and that's the after. And it took me like five seconds, legit. For any drone footage you might have, no worries at all. I got you covered. So for this one, I'll just pop in, let's say the fixie. Yes, this is beautiful, but obviously it's too dark. So I'm gonna increase the brightness a little bit because I shoot super dark in my photographs. Um, I like the colors already, they look great. Then I'm just gonna crop it to Instagram format. A little bit down, maybe squeeze myself in a little bit, and I'm done. <laughs> that was freaking easy. <laughs> Before and after. God, presets are awesome. <laughs> I never knew. I never understood the power of the preset. Oh, I love this one. Honestly, it seems that the fixie is quite versatile. So for this one, again, fixie comes all over. A little bit dark, so I just pump up the volume a little bit, and let's try auto correction for the white balance. I think it needs to be a little bit more blue because I like, and a bit more purple because I like that and basically done a little bit of a crop. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy amazing. <laughs> wow. Yay for the beard oil time. One click. It's I have tested these photos as well on lots of different platforms, so it's not just on my photographs. Um, it goes universal for a lot of photos. It looks so good no matter where you shot them, indoors or outdoors. I'm actually really proud. Ah, this is fun. If you want to go for the more high fashion look, darling. As you know, sometimes I really like that myself. I just go to yoga. <laughs> it's a bit dark still, so I'll pump up the exposure a little bit, and that's it. It's freaking stunning. I'll crop it to my... Instagram five. It's freaking beautiful. Maybe I'll just add the greens a little bit more of a punch in the green sector because I think it's a bit dull. Oh my gosh, I love! <laughs> this is an example where the presets work really well on a lot. So we've got 35 mil, 
dark, but I just, whoa, hello. <laughs> pump it up, turn down the highlights, pump up the shadows, and that's, maybe the clarity is a bit too extreme for that. But it's not bad, like that even works on that one. The oil looks amazing on it as well. Very, very dark. You change the white balance on it to make it a little bit more neutral in color and not so brown. Cold brew doesn't look good on it, that's fine. Not every photo is gonna look good with the preset. Craft beer works as well. Fair trade coffee, not bad. I would just change the exposure to be less freaking blue and cold. Fixie, not bad, just turn down the shadows and you've got something to work with. Small, tiny tweaks. Hipster AF basically looks good on everything. I love this one. I shoot film, turn up the exposure, turn down the shadows, turn down the contrast a little bit. Okay, maybe not that one. <laughs> Kale looks groovy. Kombucha, microgreens, a little bit more exposure. Then I turn down the, the blacks a little bit here to give it a bit of a more punch. I actually really love that one. Organic, hmm, hmm. It's okay. Thrift shop looks great. I think this is actually the choice. Ooh, mama. Typewriter, not so good on that one. <laughs> Vinyl looks amazing. Wes Anderson looks great. And I tweak yoga as well. So that's an example of one photograph and how the presets work on all the photographs, just to give you uh, examples there. Next up, we got this photograph, which I love, and I'm just gonna chuck on the vinyl preset. And I'll just tweak a little bit of the uh, white balance. This is slightly too much, I like the blues in it. And I'm done. Typewriter on this shot. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I freaking love it so much. Another example of beard oil. I hope you guys love the presets just as much as I do it. It makes your photo editing a lot easier and funner. Again, link in the description if you so like. Otherwise, check out my Instagram and see the rest of my images that have been used with the presets. That's it from me this time and until next time, peace.